hello everyone and welcome to the channel today in this video i will explain you how you can mass update the record types with the help of salesforce data loader tool so first let me show you what are the record types in salesforce so so right now i have logged into my salesforce developer console and here i will show you the record types of the account object that we are going to update in this data operation so in the object manager i will go to the account data object and here in the left hand sidebar click on the record types and here you can see these are the record types available for this account object so in salesforce these record types are a way to grouping many records of one type for that object and this record type can be applied to any standard or custom object so what we are going to do in this data operation is that we are going to so for that first we need to prepare a csv file so let me show you that how we will prepare the csv file so here we will prepare a csv file with the header column id name and the record type so in this data operation we will uh, change the record type of the account records so here in the id column we need the id of the accounts and in the record type column we need the ids of the record type to which we are going to update the records to so to get the id of the accounts i will first run a data export operation so now i open my data loader tool and here i will click on the export button and here i will log in with my credentials and after login uh, i will select the data object account and then select the location for the extract file and then click on the next button and in this step we have to select the query fields so we will select the query fields id and name and after this click on the finish button so now we have extracted the data of the account name with their ids and here click on the button open in external program so from here i will get the ids and the name of the account from for which i want to change the record types so i will take the ids and the name from here and enter the ids and names in the csv file so as of now we have got the id and the name of the records to which we are going to change the record types and in the record type id we need the id of the record types to which we are going to assign these records so to get the record type id we will again go to the salesforce developer console and here uh, i will navigate to the object manager so we are going to change the record type for the account object so i will open the account object and here i will open the record types so here we i have two options uh, lead clients and new customers so i will select the record type lead clients in the url you can see that code that is starting from zero so we have to just copy this code from here and then we will enter that code in the csv file and i have kept the record type id same for all the users because i want to assign all the records in the same record type so as of now our csv file is completed and now we will perform the data operation so first i will save this csv file in my system from where it can be accessed to the data loader and now i will again open the data loader tool and here i will close the previous data operations so now i have again opened the data loader tool and here i will click on the update button and then select the account data object and here i will and here we will select the csv file that we have created right now and after selecting the csv file click on the next button and as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and show the number of rows present in the file here click on the ok button to proceed and in this step we have to map the object field with the csv header columns for that click on the button create or edit a map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to columns so as you can see that uh, fields are auto matched with the columns and in case the objects are not auto matched then you have to drag the object field down to the column mapping so i will drag the record type id to the column mapping and after mapping click on the ok button then click next and here in this step select the location for the uh, error in the success files and then click finish and as we click on the finish button a warning message will appear regarding the data update operation here click yes to proceed and as we click on the finish button the data operation will start and here we can see the number of success and error occur in this data operation so here click on the button view success 
and in the status we can see it is showing the item updated so this is how we can update the record type of an object record using the salesforce and data loader tool and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye